Hi guys, it's Milad here bringing you another career mode and um, yep, so let's uh, continue on. Um, as you can see, I'll just go into my squad here just to uh, you know, show you guys what's happening. Um, thought I'd tell you that um, Sterling's gone up by one and Adrian's gone up by one, so they're kind of impressing me at the moment, playing quite well. So, um, uh, we skip straight on to a match against um, Aston Villa, and as you know of Aston Villa, they recently got a spanking by Chelsea, and then um, not too good in their last game. But uh, with us, Aston Villa, they're kind of like a you know a hit and miss squad. They can play consistent and they can play really rubbish. They can play really good, you know what I mean? They're just all over the shop. So um, we continue on to uh, the match. Um, not really much to talk about this match, it's quite boring and as you can most probably hear, just got a message from um, Mr. Sim on uh, the old phone. So um, yeah, continuing on, um, Wayne Routledge is playing against us, obviously we sold him in the transfer to Aston, Vi um, to Aston Villa and obviously, you know, I weren't too impressed with him before and I don't know what I was doing there but we catch him on the break. I'm running down the wing with Schechter and Dunn, you know, is just pulling me about and then actually take my player down. Schechter's having none of it, thought, do you know what, I'm going to milk this. Gets Dunn yellow carded and also gets a free kick. So, uh, yeah, I don't like Dunn as a player, to be fair. Um, I didn't. Well, I wasn't going to take it with Sterling. His stats, as you can see, there's a Paul, and I've only got really got one guy in my team, De Guzman. Uh, I tried to whip it in, but um, they managed to get a, uh, to clear it. And then Sterling again, tried to make a break, but no one could do anything really. So continuing on to the game, the 13th minute, De Guzman gets it on the box and boom. As I said before, that long shot is going to help us a lot. And as you can see there, he placed it in the right hand side, lovely jubbly. And then, oh, I thought I was going to mess up there, but Butler managed to get his hands to that ball. And then they're on the break again in the 32nd minute. This game is not many, it's not too many highlights. It's just back and forth stuff. But as you can see there, Bent heads it into the ground. When most majority of the time, when uh, players head it into the ground, keepers find it hard to reposition themselves to get to the ball. And um, and <laughs> like I said before, Butler at the moment is still getting his overalls up. He's not going to be top notch. So really, there he could have done better, but you can't really expect much. And uh, we go 2-1 down into the. Uh, Coming up to se um, second half, um, Sterling tries to make a break down that wing, um, getting pulled about, and that's pretty much it for that half. I did get a free kick, and uh, yet again, chose to uh, choose to Guzman, uh, just because he's got um, you know quite good stats. I think the reason why it took a bit of time here is because I uh, received a call from. Um, Mr. Sim, so I forgot to actually pause the the live capture, but um, yes, um, we go into the half two one down, not really a good thing, but because I said there weren't much going on, we skip straight to the 52nd minute and uh, get hold of the ball. We're trying to, that is, but um, Aston Villa's having none of it. Uh, they make a break here, but Butland managed to get to the ball, and then the Andro takes a shot, and um, he should have really placed that better. He's you know right in front of goal, but uh, Dyer takes it on this uh, right hand side, and uh, there we go, guys. We managed to come up with a goal to manage it to make it two all. Um, Williams is a good centre back. I'm not going to lie, um, I am looking to improve him, but you know like most teams. You keep your squad until a certain point where you need to improve it because you're not going to get far in the, uh, you know, Premier League and uh, the Capital One Cup, which uh, you'll be seeing coming up soon later on in this ep episode. I've got a Capital One Cup game out. I think it's against Southampton. Uh, see how that pans out. And they go on to another break here. It was just bad defending. I give away the free kick. And um, of all players to take, take it. Bent took it. I thought it could have. Uh, picks someone else but as you can see makes a total hash up of that and that was it guys it was a two all draw you know them sort of games I should be winning it was a bit of a let down but my players done well uh, managed to come back get that draw 
And um, yeah, it was a good game. Um, I really wanted to improve, but that shot by De Guzman, I like that one, so I thought I'd show you it again. Um, and there's the match ratings there, as you can see. You know, you normally have players in the nines, but we didn't have any of that. Team weren't playing well. Um, pretty poor performance. And uh, Man United there won 2 0. You've got Arsenal winning 3 0. They're the teams that, when we come up against them, they're going to be tricky. Uh, Swansea City we failed to impress the fans so far. Um, unfortunately, we're not giving the fans what they want. And we skipped straight into this Capital One game. So. Um, Dyer straight away tries to make a run down that wing. You know, I've been using him, I've been making sure I can get through to him, uh, make sure I can play the runs, etc. etc. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I've been feeling quite ill over the last couple of days, as well as Mr. Sim. You know, the common winter cold and uh, stomach bugs and stuff like that. And, um,. Try to cross the ball and get ahead onto it, but yet again, you know me, I can only seem to score from corners when it comes to crossing. And uh, I don't know what I was defending like there, but uh, Butland manages to get a leg in there, goes shooting up in the sky. You yeah, uh, know, the old um, West Ham song, you know, forever blowing bub uh, bubbles, etc. Climb so high. And, uh, and here we go here, you know, Dyer collects it in his own half, makes a bullet run down this right hand side, he's ever none of it, he's like, I'm quick, you're slow, you know, this is how it's going to go, and Sterling, bad touch, absolute bad touch, should have done better, and um, what happened there in the recording is I couldn't get that footage back, but what I'd done was, uh, the keeper jumped in the jumped out of the box and obviously they got a free kick I don't know what he was doing that for, he had plenty of space to just jump up, get the ball and land and uh, that was pretty much it for the first half um, I'd like to go through in the Capital One Cup you know, there's somewhere where I think I can actually win it with um, um, Swansea and as you saw there, my local team Ipswich Town losing 1-0 to MK Dons, at this point in their career it's you know, pretty likely that they would do that, it's not something rare um, but yeah guys, uh, Mr. Sim has obviously started a Black Ops series, so if you'd like Black Ops, um, just have a little watch of his first out, um, episode. And there we go guys, as I said, from a corner, I will score any day of the week. And uh, <laughs> Bart, the partner was up, I ain't got time for that, and knocked him to the floor, he thought I'm not having any of that. So um, Sterling here, I don't know what I was doing, um, stupid mistake, I was, for some reason, trying to do skill, and as you can see... Boom, offside. Took a bit of time there. I was thinking, oh dear, they're going to draw. And uh, Ricky Lambert, a player which actually I really like in this. Um, um, you know, I actually like him in real life. He's a good player. Um, you know, obviously uh, scored quite a bit. And uh, <laughs> cheeky from Chaco there. Um, trying to bit the old overhead kick. It's a 60th minute, 1 0. It's going alright. Um, Happy with 1 0, but um. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. You know, Christmas season and all that. And boom, Sterling with another goal. He scored a similar goal to that in the pre season friendlies. Um, yeah, um, hope you guys had all a good Christmas. Um, I did myself. Uh, that's why most of you ain't seen any videos up in the last three days. I've been with um, a lot of. Uh, family. I was with my mum Christmas morning and then Christmas day and Boxing Day. I was with my dad. So, uh, and there we go. Bad defending leads to them scoring an absolute cheat, um, you know, a sloppy goal. You know, they shouldn't have even had a chance to do that. But I try to make a run down the side again. And just gets destroyed. And I don't know what I was doing there. What sort of actual player by mine. I don't know what Southampton was doing here, to be fair. <clears throat> one on one, and they should have easily ran on and scored. But they done me a favour, you know, continue, uh, not to. And it was pretty much just like this all game. Backwards and forwards. And there's full time, guys. Um, yes, what can I say? Um, first five episodes, I've actually enjoyed doing it. And um, yes, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, stay tuned. There'll be a couple of episodes coming out in the next couple of days. I have got work at the weekend and obviously New Year's Eve. So hope you enjoy. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm Milaj on behalf of Subsway Gamers. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.